Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from Western Kentucky. We have in front of us Operation Knife Breaker. We introduced the team last time. We're ready to go out and rescue a VIP from an Advent vehicle. We'll just take a quick look. There is the squad. It's a Bondmate heavy squad. It's a team of five and we're going to see if they can't make it happen for us. Uh, we introduced him at the end of last episode, so let's just get out there and see what we got ahead of us. The Resistance is asking for our help in rescuing a VIP currently being held by Advent in this region. We're moving in to neutralize any alien forces protecting the transport vehicle. Lock down the AO and secure the target package. All right, Bradford, let's get out there. See what this map looks like. Menace 1 5, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. All right, at least the evac zone is a little more reasonable than the last time we had a evac zone come out there for us. We don't have to go back across the whole map. This is a city map, so music in the background will be a little on the quiet side. And we do have a nice building in front of us. Uh, to tra traverse over to there. Uh, there might be a break in between that we can't see, but at least, you know, it's fun to take the high ground. Um, we're near the edge of the map here. This looks like a good access point to get up to the roof right here. Uh, we actually also have something here, but I'd rather skirt along the perimeter. So who do we got? Jean-Luc Picard, I think you are the one to lead the way for us on this one. Let's go right here. Understood. And I'm going to take you right up to the pole. I think that's doable. Oh, we got the lone drone visible now, so we got that one out of the way. Uh, William Riker, you want to get up there near your bond it's a mate? risk I think we have to take. And we'll just kind of charge forward the bond mate teams here. Homer, can you make it a little farther than... Chief Wiggum's not by much. So we'll just park you right here way. and put Chief Wiggum's right behind. Copy that. And Harry, oh, that's you, Harriet Minty Tubman. Sorry. And uh, that, as a reminder, it'll be our first use of the coil, the new coil weapon that we built. Uh, so that ought to be a little fun. Whoa, whoa, slow down, egghead. Naha and a berserker coming around the corner. We ought to decide. Teams of two. So we got two, two, two. Probably, if it's like the other one where they ended up generating teams of two, it'll be four teams of two and a lone drone. Obviously, it could be three, three, two, one. You never know exactly, but... Uh, if I only have to deal with two while I'm going against a berserker, that just sounds kind of nice to me. Um, do I dare? Is it, is it wise to just work on trying to take them out? There's five of us. Not a lot of cover against the Naha. I think what I'm going to do is take us up on the roof and uh, deal with it down the road. Very well. Oh, and a lone drone has changed the pattern of the game quickly. Oof. Well, right off the bat, we got a lone surveillance drone. Uh, is there a pipe? Yeah, there is a way where this guy could get on the roof if I do a little flesh over here just to take this out. Or do I run down and maximize? We're, we'll hold off on you, Jean-Luc, and uh, we're going to have to maximize our fire with everybody else over here. And see if we can't take out this berserker. We do have a coil gun. This will be our first try there. Harriet Minty Tubman, you're gonna get two shots with this said coil gun. You're in corner cover, albeit only half corner cover, but I want you taking two shots on the Berserker. Um, we are in sight of the Naha also, which is not ideal. 
but let's take our two shots on the Berserker. The other option, well, let's take a first shot, see what this coil does. Not bad damage on a coil gun, seven to 12. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, let's light them up. Good nine damage. Can we do another nine damage? I kind of like the idea of that. All of a sudden, the Berserker is not quite as scary. Oh, not only did you do nine damage, you did a crit. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, we got the vehicle over here. If I were to drop down, I can't reach him on a flesh. So the Naha is safe. Uh, what I can reach, and if he was to come up high, he'd have to come up this back pole. If he comes up this pole, I'd still have a little cover. Card, let's take out. Ooh, it's not a guarantee, though. If I get minimum hit, we got a live drone that's going to do some damage to me. But, Card, you are our leader for a reason. And that is the reason he gets the job done. <laughs> ah, okay, now we do have something that worries me. We do have something that we need to take care of. We have double moves. Uh, we would, in full cover, gain position or gain visibility at least on the Naha. So if I brought you out here for that, is there a way I can get Mr. Chief Clancy Wiggums um, close enough for El Granado. Let's see. I don't know. It'd get you standing pretty far in the open. Uh, how far could you shoot it now? Potentially far enough to blow away the wall. Let's take a look at your cover and see if there's anything better. Um, that's not a blue move, so we can't get inside. We can get inside here on a blue move, but it provides you no cover. So I guess we might as well hold position and shoot the grenade from here. Should we do a plasma grenade? <clears throat> well, we don't have armor to shred. Let's do a regular frag grenade and count on a wall damage taking place with this frag grenade. Come on, Chief. No, the wrong wall oh my blew away. God, a horrible plane crash. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we do have sight here. We could get very, very close on a running gun. But wasn't there another lone drone floating around over here somewhere too? Um, do I dare get up here where I gain vision of all who who knows what if I go here at least there's somewhat of a wall albeit with windows well let's let's see if we even need to do the running gun let's get it started um, William Riker you're gonna have vision from here We always have combat protocol. It's only a 50% shot from you. So maybe we hold the combat protocol as a possible finisher for us. Um, and then we're gonna run you. And just getting sight of Harriet Tubman went, wow, I'm gonna like these coil guns. <laughs> That's what popped through my head. <laughs> just so you know. Um, if I run and gun here, he's at least it would keep me in full cover. I don't know what we're going to see out here, but I'm doing the run and gun. I'm going to try and see if I can take this guy out and eliminate return fire. It's over, worth Craig. exposing another pod, I think, okay. to do that. Oh gosh, not the other pod that I wanted to expose. That, I mean, that's gonna. <laughs> We're gonna be taking a little hurt here. So, so much for worrying about return fire here on a Naha. 
although I can take him out, but maybe what we got to do, who's my biggest concern right now is this Berserker man. Maybe we do a little arc pulser on him, just take him out of the picture. All, all of a sudden it's the, the best, or the, <laughs> the best of the worst pot. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> The least worst possibility. Um, I guess we could always. Uh, we can do a little aid protocol, maybe. And give Homer some extra protection since he's right up there. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully, the Naha and Sentry can't do too much hurt to him. <clears throat> we're about to find out. Oh, they're going against the half cover and the coil gun, but we got ablative armor. Thank goodness for that one. Where is this guy going? And Homer, he ran to take a Please more difficult shot fighting. and uh, allow himself to be flanked. Now, all of a sudden, I'm feeling like uh, I want to do some more magic with that coil gun on the Berserker while everybody else works on everybody else. Um... I, I think at 87%, I think I will just sit here and take two shots again. The question becomes, what kind of ammo am I looking for? Okay, I do have a free reload, so ammo be damned. Um, we can go ahead and still take two shots. Yeah, we're down to our last, last bullet right there. Let's use it on the Berserker and do some of that magic damage of yours. Our crit chances are a little less, maybe, because we're at a distance. That better be a hit. That better be a hit. Oh, look at that damage. And it says locked on. We are locked on. Let's do a free reload. Ready to rock. And let's lock on. It's up to 97% now. Uh, if we can get a crit somehow, the crit chance has gone up to 15%. We can do the magic on two berserkers in a freaking row. Nah, he didn't get taken down this time. But he is a weak little one-tick berserker that doesn't scare me as much as uh, it normally might. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, Homer. Actually, I'm kind of thinking, Jean-Luc, since you are not a hidden man anymore, we can bring you down on the Naha, except we have a sentry on Overwatch. Hmm. We have a way to take out this Overwatch. Uh, we can run interference, which can cancel Overwatch. The question is, can I then take care of these enemies? What kind of hit points do you have? Not a lot on the sentry. So if I can get Picard to somehow take care of the Naha, I don't know if he'll quite have the oomph to do it. That means, Chief, that means, that means a lot. Let's see, interference, interference. Let's run the interference so I can bring Picard down against the Naha. Does this end my turn? We're about to find out. Okay, let's make sure. No overwatch. Okay, and you still have an action. So if we need to, we have combat protocol available. Let's get over to Picard. That is what I'm thinking is my next step. So we can find out what kind of damage he can do on the Naha. Flesh away. No. Flesh away. Right here. Ooh, that's not good flesh. So that means the sentry is still probably going to be alone out there. We're going to probably have to use Homer Simpson here. We'll only do some damage damage on the sentry more than likely. Um, let's bring you down to this cover for Flesh. We still got to take out the Berserker on top of things. Holy smokes. That wasn't bad. <clears throat> that wasn't bad. So maybe the combat protocol can be used against the Naha. That leaves Homer with a point blank to take out. <clears throat> Although it's kind of a waste of his abilities, but we can take out the Berserker. Then all we have to worry about is a sentry at distance. 
And I'm thinking those are better odds to deal with than a Berserker waking up or a Naha. So let's do the combat protocol on the Naha. Expanded, advanced expanded magazine. Oh, I wanted a peanut. Homer, let's bring Clancy over here, see if he can get that last tick shot on the Berserker. What are the odds? Pretty dang good odds, I do say so myself. Show's over, folks. Now? What kind of a shot can we get for you, Homer? Um, are you, is that angle going to expose another pod? We do not know. Although this is a little more distance for you than what we're used to with your weapon. But it's still a flank. And uh, I think there's less chance of exposing another pod. So we're going to take an, a less than ideal, probably, percentage shot by being at distance. But I think it's worthwhile. So let's bring you uh, out here. I have confidence in my Homer. Uh, this is where I go, no. I probably should have gone closer and taken the chance. But last time I said, let's take the chance, I activated another pod. <laughs> and I don't want to do it again. I do not want to do it again. 63% Homer. Is this going to be a magical mission for you? Can you make this happen? Ooh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. We have a pot of three. We have a pot of three. An Advent Scout, which has some hit points. Do we have a way to get... Ah, oh, my coil gun. I really can't get close enough to help me out this turn, can I? Um... Do I pull back? Do I pull back? Do I pull back? Do we get ourselves positioned somehow? Do we have much cover up here? We do have some full cover down on the side we could take. Homer, can we get you to any decent? We can get you to full cover there. Who do you have sight on right now? Just the Advent Scout. Um, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Uh, we probably, what do we have some abilities? Focus fire, spend an action point to pinpoint a target and grant your squad cumulative aim points. Uh, we can increase our chances for crits. Um, this is eight out of the, and there's, I think there might be another lone drone, so that might be a good time to activate some get some here. Twice permission, spend an action to grant all allies within command range just plus 20 bonus to crit chance for the remainder of the turn. But if I'm going to do that, I want to get back near the bulk of the squad. So let's maybe start setting up. Um, question is where could I get the card to where he could use that command feature let's get into full cover as we move forward and get ready for their advance probably overwatch you uh, Clancy Chief Wiggums we may just get you to full cover here all right is that our best move make them come to us I don't know now with the scout and some of the others we're dealing with. I do not know. I am not convinced that this is the best move. I will get you number one into full cover. Okay, we have a wall of overwatch at this line that we'll be able to lay down. That means I have two others that it might be best, might behoove us uh, to pull them out of the line of sight. Um, where would be the best? So maybe I just run you Picard back here so we can have some get some. Uh, should they move up at us so we can get some extra crit chances? Is that maybe what we want to do or what's focus fire? Spend an action point to pinpoint and so we can always potentially if they come at us one at a time use focus fire instead uh, I think what we'll do is we'll get everybody back in your command range back here as best as possible And we'll set up for them to come to us. We're gonna try that out uh, the guys in the lead here will all have full cover so I think that could potentially work in our favor. Can we pull you back, Homer, into full cover? Yes, we 
can, except you won't be on Overwatch. Everybody else will. Uh, let's do a little tactical Out retreat. Of my way, jerk ass. And see if we can set up for him. Um, Overwatch. Overwatch. And Overwatch. The only way out is suicide. Okay, he didn't activate any Overwatch. He can take a shot on Homer, and he does a good hit. That guy has aim. He has the best aim of all. We can run into some Overwatch, though, and we did a neat, how awesome hit. Now the question is, we got some guys. We got some guys. We got some guys able to return some fire. The scout, obviously, in spite of our full cover, annoys the heck out of me. So we're going to try and see. Um, get some is what we're going to do to try and increase our crit chances. Because uh, we're going to be bringing some fire, I believe. Let's find out. Do we have sight on the scout? Yes, we do. We're going to be bringing some fire against that scout. So, uh, Picard, can you use some get some here for us? Yeah, that pretty much covers everybody. I'm not sure about Homer. I can't quite tell, but I think he's also in range. Let's get some. Harriet Tubman. Let's start working out with this get some. I don't care about the one hit point gunner. We'll let him live for the time being. What do we have? Walk fire for guaranteed hit? Let's see, what are your odds? <clears throat> 46%. Terrible, terrible odds. What are the walk fire odds? 75%, although dam reduce damage, and there it wipes out the get some crit. But we're gonna do the lower odds and go for a crit on the scout. I'm gonna count on these guys being able to hit because we're gonna have volume of fire. And if it's coin flip odds, I'm gonna count on one of those hidden. Let's find it out. Together. Miss. Try again. I may uh, regret this, but we do have an increased odds now <clears throat> because I believe we're locked on. So let's see if this is enough. No, it doesn't look like it. Him. Oh, we got it. We gra What a graze hit is that? Six damage on a grazed hit. Now that is a weapon I am gonna learn to love. <laughs> Oh, that is a weapon I am going to learn to love. Um, Jean-Luc, you don't have vision on anybody. We're going to keep you probably back there because uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Clancy for shooting your main weapon instead of popping off a grenade. Um, I'd be tempted to pop off a grenade just to take two out with one blow, but... Uh, I'm gonna play the greedy game and it may cost me with some more damage here in a moment. I'm gonna play the greed game right here and see if we can take out at 57% that scout. Oh baby! <laughs> I, I like being greedy. I like being greedy. Uh, we don't have, oh we do have run and gun. So I think you would have the ability to take out the Stun Lancer. And then do you have range for combat protocol? La 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 la. Combat protocol. You can do the job on the gunner. We're going to do a little run gun on the Stun Lancer. I think, Homer, you have it within you to take him out. If for some reason I lose confidence They're in the odds. Down. You have the arc throw, or you have the uh, arc pulser. Get out of my way, jerk ass! I have the ultimate confidence in Homer Simpson. There we go. Superior life forms my butt! <laughs> That's one of my favorite statements from Homer. Okay. Let's get Jean-Luc Picard moving forward. Commander. We've killed eight. We got reinforcements imminent. We lose one of our loots, but we should be able to pick up the other one. Uh, now that we got a new turn going, Homer, I'm going to have you pick up the loot for us. P-51 
the CS defense. Yummy. And we have the vehicle in sight. And then our extraction point is up on a nearby roof. So let's get motoring to make this happen. Uh, Homer, I'm going to bring you up this way. On my way. I still think there's a lone drone out there. Uh, I could be wrong, but I, I, and I could have been the same drone that we saw twice that uh, ended up on the roof, but I still think there's a lone drone floating around over here. Uh, not the biggest threat in the world, but we don't want him to hit us at the wrong time. Who is Al? Oh, we're going to blue move Let's you just so you can reload. And then we'll get you motoring after this. We're green to go. And Picard, we're going to get you motoring also. We'll do a blue move at a time in case we peek in and see that last drone. Now we're okay. I'm going to push it out to here. And you're the one that can release the prisoner at a distance. Let's get you up in range, Riker. And finally, Clancy, we do not want to leave you behind. And I'm not going to worry about reloading you because you have grenades should we need them. You can still do damage even if you're not reloaded. Okay, reinforcements still imminent. And do you have vision of the vehicle yet? No, you do not. This this thing is probably in the way. And this thing is still in the way. This thing is annoying. <laughs> so let's just get you all the way up here, Riker. Yes, maybe. So you might have some vision next time. Yeah, it looks like you will. So it looks like uh, with that in mind, I will take you, Homer, up this way. Got to go, yeah, we're gonna do your job. And we're gonna. Oh, you have a free reload, so we're just gonna yellow. We're gonna double move you to get you up near closer to the evac point since you're a little poker. Homer, let's get you. Move it. Yep, moving. Move it. Move it. Um, we'll do a reload. Let's do this thing. And finally, Harriet, we can double move you now because you are reloaded. Go, go, go. And Picard, we'll get you moved up. You are fully reloaded. Uh, we'll get you up this way. Take us out of here. Reinforcement still yellow. Uh, let's take you, Riker. Let's do the hack. We have good uh, reduces contact cost for a nearby region by 33%. I do like that. I do like that. It allows us to hold on to our intel. So we're going to go for this one. Begin the hack. And we got it. Alloys are always valuable, but uh, so is intel. The left on their computer system. Okay, and we'll get you moving. Now that it's unlocked, will I still, let's kind of tab through, do I still need to get someone over there? Yes, I probably still need to get someone over there to open up the door. And there is our goal, there is our target, let's yeah, get moving. Shot. I mean, uh, it's my job, right? Yeah, it's your job. Now where is access to the roof? Right there, there we got the nearest pole. Um, I think it's just fine standing you out in the open right now. Hannah Fletcher. And let's get moving towards the evac zone. I wish I had a dog with it saddled. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> have to be one big dog. I used to have a greyhound in one of the costume things. We had a little jockey we could set on his back with a saddle. He was such a big dog. Makes me think of him hearing Homer say that. Uh, Jean-Luc Picard, let's get you up high. I'll be there. And we got our next turn. Reinforcements imminent. Let's get our scientist out of here. Hannah Fletcher, we rescued you. Feel grateful that we sent a good team to be able to make this happen. Firebrand, the 
VIP is now secure. let's get everybody moved up to the roof at least gee I'm not sure if everybody can make it this turn yeah chief yeah because of you Clancy we're just gonna move everybody up to the roof so we can all evac at the same time out of my way location confirmed Oof, you can't even make it up to the roof, Riker, so we'll have you guard the pole as if that's necessary. Let's get to it. Let's see if reinforcements turn red. Nope. So it's time to just get the hay out of here and say goodbye to this map. I think I'm happy with the results. We did take a slight injury to Homer. One tick got through that dang scout with the amazing aim. Uh, but let's get out of here. That's it. I'm out of here. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. All right. Let's... Now remember the rules, everybody. No shooting during the photos. <laughs> they listened. Look at that. They listened. Let's just get you out of the mob position so maybe we can see everybody. Or let's see if we can just have Homer in the front, not be so smug, and bend down. And then if we can get Picard also to cooperate and put his gun a little lower, I got a picture we can work with. All right, down with Advent, taking Earth back. Look at this badass team here that we got going. All right. Two Berserkers out of action. Boom, boom, boom. I would like to assure the citizens of Advent that our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. The squad made it back whole and the aliens paid the price. Only Great four days, not Commander. bad, Homer Simpson. Not bad, no promotions out of this one, but we'll take it. Advance Expanded Magazine, excited about getting that. We gained a facility lead. And we gained another scientist. To help with our research time now that we buffed up the laboratories. All right, I think we have another mission coming up. We don't have a lot of funds to spend anything at the moment. I'm really not looking to sell anything. So let's just get back out there. Is it New Indonesia has the next one coming up real, real quick? Let's just see if we can't get that one to come. Yeah, 107%. We're just trying to infiltrate a little further. See if we can get the very light down. That's the only reason I'm waiting. Um, why go against more enemies than we have to? Ooh, Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Ooh, potentially a new target. Four days, VIP. Another VIP rescue. An engineer where we don't really need... Oh, chrysalid infiltrators. Edwin are getting pretty desperate. They have turned to deploying these nasty critters in inhabited areas. Watch out for burrowed chrysalids. Well, I would only have a team of four, potentially. Hang on, I'm going to take a peek because somebody else may have become available too that I'm not thinking of that we can also take out on this mission that would make it doable. But four days? Mm, let's see if I, if I can at least get a team of five. I'm going to think about it. But let's uh, take a peek. 
Okay, I decided, nay, nay, we shall not proceed, uh, not for an engineer reward. Um, I'm not feeling the need for any engineers at the moment. Um, I could have gotten it down, I could have gotten five in, but I would have needed to boost um, with some intel, and, and spending intel for an engineer I don't Commander, need. The aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Well, how dare Taking you? Out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. <laughs> Don't they know they're not supposed to work on the Avatar project while I'm talking? <laughs> That's a cardinal sin here. Okay, but anyway, I decided not to spend the intel for an engineer I don't really need, bottom line. So we're not going to go on the mission since I couldn't just, without help, get the five squeezed in. Officer training, there's the trial by fire. So next time we have our low-level troops, which are actually all infiltrating right now, we'll be able to use them with the Pokemon and get them trained up faster than normal. I'm kind of excited about that one. Um, do I have anybody? Let's just take a peek before we get going on this mission. I just want to see if I have anybody that might be available. Um, any bonds available? Riker Picard? Do I want to take the time to upgrade their bond or... Is there a leader training that I might want to take advantage of? Um, Riker has the ability to gain. Sebastian again could be trained up. Let's see what his next options would be. Oh, another trial by fire or for him, Jammer. Once in a battle, delay the arrival of reinforcements. I already got one trial by fire. I don't. I don't think I need a, that many. Um, so uh, jammer is not that exciting of a perk. But there's times if I end up being weak. So Sebastian, I'm gonna pull you for some more training, and we're gonna pick jammer. All right, let's get back out there and get our next mission to pop up here. The elders don't spend a lot of time worrying about the difference between soldiers and civilians. It's all the same in the end. These Chosen are constantly hunting us to try and recapture you, Commander, and are spreading terror throughout the Resistance as they go. Yes, they we'll are. We'll need to pay close attention to each one as they gain more information about our plans. Thinking if we have the opportunity, uh, we'll start getting to the, th the final level and then getting to the point, especially now that we have coil guns, uh, access to those to maybe start thinking about slowly moving against some of these Chosen. Uh, Let's all think about that for a minute as we get our next mission to pop up here. And I think we're ready to go for Operation Drunken Altar. That's going to be our next mission. Um, is there anything else since the scanning? Now, yeah, this is the one we're going on next time, ladies and gentlemen. New Indonesia, we're heading out to neutralize a target in an Advent vehicle and get Advent's attention. Although they've already increased their strength level by one by me not being able to go to, uh, on that supply raid. Uh, this gets us some more supplies though, which we definitely need and the extra intel definitely won't hurt. We do have it down to extremely light, so I'm feeling good about that. Let's look at the squad that we will be taking out on this one. Keith, Caretaker Merle will be our gunner. We have Gordy, Visor, LaForge as our Shinobi, Reginald, Broccoli, Barkley, there the bond mates, uh, will be our Ranger, and he has a coil rifle, so yes, I'm looking forward to this one. We have Kors, Death Knell, Exorcist going out, and I always have fun using the Skirmisher, and guess what, he has a promotion. What kind of a perk have you, you got for us at Tech Sergeant? Uh, judgment has a chance to panic any enemy that attacks this unit. The higher the will of this unit, the higher the panic chance. Wow. Um, run and gun. Well, you still, you kind of have that hit and run kind of feel to you, so I don't know if that's an additional. Take an action after dashing. Is that, I don't know if that's as vital for you 
as a skirmisher. We'll think, we'll think about that. We can always, aggression, plus critical chance for each enemy you can see, up to a maximum of 30. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe what we'll do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the extra crit chance. Because sometimes you tend to be a little closer up in the lines and have vision of more enemies than the average soldier. Uh, we're going to work on aggression for you. And that leaves us with 15 AP. Now, I don't think any of these is exactly what I'm looking for right now. I uh, may change my mind down the road, but for right now, we're just going to go with the single uh, promotion of aggression. And uh, finally, to continue on our introductions here, we've gotten through Keith, we've gotten through Gordy LaForge and Reginald Broccoli team, and now we get to Nikolai Crazy Hours Carpathia. He's done a great job for us so far as he's been uh, advancing in the game. Mag long rifle, so he's going to be handy. And a mag rifle on Trevor T-Bone Hertz as our grenadier. Also um, should have, yes, the advanced grenade launcher. Um, there's the team, ladies and gentlemen. That's who we're going out with next time. This is Zigzag Zag signing off from Western Kentucky. Uh, please join me next time to see how successful we are on this mission. And if you haven't so far, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Help me out to get noticed. Likes are very important to a new channel for me. So uh, hit that like whenever you have a chance. Thanks so much. Y'all have a great day.